for our future, you know, for us to have a better living. And I couldn't help the time because I was already studying doctor of medicine. But at the back of my head, I said to myself, one day, I will revive the legacy of my dad by putting up another business. But I don't have any idea what kind of business I will venture. It was God's providence that I met Mr. Brian, but he's not around right now. He told me about the firm that he is presently employed, which is a huge billing company. This company handled several accounts of medical staffing agencies all over Florida and some other states. Well, probably because of his lengthy experience and expertise in entrepreneurship, he noticed my potential and encouraged me to open up a medical staffing agency. And without a second thought, I accepted the challenge. So you might ask me the scope of the company. This company will hire nurses. No, ang nurses yun ang pinaka kusog market and very saleable, no? That includes nurse practitioner, licensed practical nurse, pharmacies, that includes doctor of pharmacy and its uh, bachelor's degree. Just like me, no? I just have the bachelor's degree in pharmacy. Clinical social worker, <coughs> dental hygienist, emergency medical technician, physical therapist, that includes doctor of physical therapy. We have doctor of physical therapy here, come some. Uh, paramedics, radiology technician, occupational therapist, speech therapist, and respiratory therapist. We will be placing these medical professionals to different medical facilities that includes hospice care facilities, nursing home, assisted living, medical clinic, ambulatory surgical center, hospital, urgent care, doctor's office, and drugstore. This company will initially be serving Central Florida for now, huh? and neighboring counties. But you know, in the future, probably we will cover regional and statewide, God willing. No, we never know. Our mission is to provide clients with experienced, compassionate healthcare specialists who always deliver quality care in a timely, professional and ethical manner with a strong focus on customer satisfaction. My vision or our vision is to become the benchmark for excellent care by which all healthcare staffing firms are judged. They grant them competitions among agencies. So I, we will see to it. We have our HR here. <laughs> But I, I told her, don't worry, because I will send you for training, you know? Now my short course is like HR. So I know, AL, you have the potential. You can do that. We will achieve this by being a great place to work and a company known for its teamwork, caring healthcare professionals, and customer focus. We will further distinguish ourselves by our focus on quality, which we will consistently achieve by proactively pursuing continuous improvement and innovation in all we do. That's our goal. Guided by our core values, how we conduct our business, how we treat our employees, no? And how we serve our customers is our main goal. We will honor our commitments by delivering candidates who best matches the client's need, charging a fair price, I hope. 
<laughs> Ingnay niyo mga po ano, ano medical director na nga. Dito lang mo si RJ kay Balato. <laughs> doing what we say, doing it right, and doing it on time. I believe that life is a journey, often difficult, and sometimes incredibly cruel. Just like what Pastor said, my life was very cruel. But we don't know God's will, no? What the kabalo? Ang ginawa kay na kabalo. Sorry, pardon me for my language, no? We are well equipped for it if only we tap into our talents and gifts and allow them to blossom. There is a saying that says, do the difficult things while they are easy, and do the great things while they are small. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. So probably I'm doing that right now, one step. <laughs> and I hope and pray that this company will flourish and will help a lot of medical professionals, especially Filipino nurses. We have lots of Filipino nurses here. Probably we have 50 nurses are in this congregation. And we you know I can provide them, we can provide them a better job for them to help their families in the Philippines and for them to have a better life in this country as well. When I started um, applying for the licensing for this company, like the, you know, applying for the EIN, applying for the LLC in Sundays, and, you know, securing the certification in ACA or ANCA, of course, I feel a little bit nervous and apprehensive. But in every major decision making in my life, I always seek God. That's the only secret I have in my life. And there is a text that I love most in the Bible that is found in the book of Proverbs chapter 3, verses 5 to 6. This was mentioned already by Pastor, but this is, this is one of my favorite texts in the Bible that says, Trust in the Lord with all thy heart, and lean not unto thy own understanding. In all your ways, not one way, two ways, but in all your ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. And lastly, no, I love this text also, which was mentioned also by Pastor. This is the only, these two texts in the Bible that, you know, ragihimo na ko siyang paming sa life. I make this verse as my shield. That, <coughs> gives me an assurance in life. It says, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to give you hope, paglaong, and a future. Once again, thank you, and I hope you will enjoy your meal. Good.